Welcome back to another episode of Twinsy Talk. Get your twinsy talk. Get your twinsy talk. What we gonna talk about? We gonna talk about what you asked us and some more stuff. But you're giving them plenty of quality time. Let's yeah. get to our question. Yeah, but that doesn't involve doing it, girl. That's the problem. Doing oh. it quality time means doing it. Okay, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that either. I was like, oh. oh. Uh -huh. Well, my shirt's not even on it. You know, I don't, I don't even have my accessories on yet. Hurry up and put on your your sweatshop realness. Can we move the camera just a little bit over? Hi. Is that is that about right? You know, if I did this to you, or should it be back? back I just was back. Uh, I just was like leaning, doing the lean. Oh but look, there's like a crew here. There is a crew. Oh my god, he has purple hair, Mina. Oh my god, look at this guy with the tie dye and purple hair. Can you please hurry before he leaves? You can't see anything. It's like blurred out. They can't see shit. Are we giving twinsy? We're also giving a TMZ nosy. <laughs> yeah, we are. That was too much. Hold on, this is a disaster. Let me turn it this way. Each way has a different direction. There. I feel like further back is better. Better? Yep. You push back all the way. All right. Well, welcome back to another episode of Twinsy, Twinsy Talk. Get your Twinsy, Twinsy Talk. talk. Get your twinsy talk. What we gonna talk about? Twinsy talk. We gonna talk about twinsy what you asked talk. us. And some twinsy more stuff. Sprinkle with shenanigans. Twinsy. That is twinsy talk. Wow. Welcome back, everybody. Oh my god, is this episode six? Six. six. Yep, that's what episode it is. Hi guys. Hey. Welcome back. We hope you guys are having a good, good week. I was telling Katrina, I have quite possibly the lowest energy I've had in oh. months. Like as if I, I don't know. It's like, I just, I'm so tired. <laughs> we are exhausted, dead. And the good news is that we get to escape and do this. I am, this keeps I am us excited. Alive. I am excited to do this. But we are run, run down. down. And, and it's just with mostly, at this point, even more thoughts and action, even though our actions are, are stretched you know, in. You and know, and maybe part of it is my brain is just tired. Like, if I had a mm -hmm. notebook right now, I could just write for the next 45 minutes mm -hmm. all the things that are on my mind. Like between the fashion show which by the way thank you guys so much for all the love you guys are sending us like you guys want to come so please oh please if gosh. you can the volunteers you guys have volunteered and we're like, taking you up on the offer so if you've emailed crazy. us we're gonna get back to you we promise mm -hmm. um we do need volunteers because we're gonna have a pop-up put fashion show in the subject line if you email throw it in the cart lv at gmail.com yeah. so we had another meeting and you guys were going to come out with a little project runway thrift series so you guys will see the behind the scenes but it's really important if you guys want to come to our show or be a part of the pop-up in any way you've got to email us yes because if we don't get an email like that you won't be able to come this is not going to be open to the public as far as the fashion show goes yes but the pop-up is going to be open but we mm -hmm. are taking reservations meaning just letting us know like when you're gonna stop by because we're gonna be open from a specific time yes so so basically the after party is our pop-up boutique oh so, my gosh that's crazy crazy this is like an episode of housewives it, it feels like it except minus all the money the uh sugar daddies the makeup artists and the really expensive bags and the mistreatment and oh, shade yeah. oh, and the really and big backstabbing. Trips. And the trips to like Aruba and Abu Dhabi. Oh my god, we took a trip, but ours was good <laughs> fabulous. It was <laughs> super ghetto carnival. We'll never do it never again. Never again. We've we we're elevated. We, we are. Don't we look elevated? You guys. So remember Edwina was telling me to get this in the last trip because she's like, I have the same one. I was like, You do? Uh the episode where I almost got disability check for the rest of my life. 
I could have came up if I wanted to. But I'm an honest citizen. I'm not trying to use people because I know that when mom was having a difficult time. And I know she ain't starting no college fund for the baby yet. I already know that. Edwina, you're giving her such well, a hard Well, I wasn't going to be able to come up. So with that being said, I decided not to do anything. As and you can see, Edwina, stretch and work out. Edwina is over it. <laughs> In case you guys were wondering. <laughs> you find the episode. If you guys don't know what Edwina's talking about, someone fill, fill them in, okay? Anyways, uh, Edmina's looking for questions right now because you guys did ask some questions in the last um, Twinsy Talk because you know our filming was a disaster. So if you're all confused, so are we. But watch all the videos. We did a haul of a trip you didn't see and then we did a trip right. after the trip that, of the haul that you didn't see. Okay? It was a so, mess. It was, it was a hot mess. But hopefully you enjoyed that. But um, anyway, right now, first of all, thumbs up. Oh yes, please like. Please. This is a premiere. You guys are so quick to jump in. Why aren't We're you subscribed? So right like we see you watching and this is like your sixth twinsy talk put a question below especially the those random. who are leaving comments that they hate everything we do but they're always uh, leaving comments on our video yeah, thank you yeah there's some of you who disagree <laughs> with everything we do and we love you for it because that lets us know that we're a bit we're a rebel we're not like following it's the true. rules yeah so not everybody's us gonna... we're not in line which is perfect i know i was telling you Vina, last time uh, the thrift trip we were hauling i was realizing like somebody made a comment couldn't find it. I didn't know exactly what they said, but basically it was See Big Daddy. You buy a lot of um, Shana. You're always buying a lot of basic things and like the colors, and uh, and Rita's getting all these beautiful, colorful things. And it was it was interesting. And I just did a closet refresh. It's because I have too many things. Did you guys watch our closet? Oh my god! My closet is filled with colorful madness. And I mean, it's like I love dresses. How come you don't like dresses, Shana? I have a thousand. Yes. Like, I, I think that's my problem. So when I get basics, it's because I truly need basics. And you guys, some of the things we get, we love, but they're so outrageous to wear, like to a meeting or a professional setting, that we just don't wear it or share okay. it. And when we do wear it, we don't share it. I was looking at my blouses today. There's one, you guys, I don't even think you've ever seen it. It's so ridiculous. Louisa Voisin gave it to me. It's like a howdy doody one. <laughs> and I was laughing at some of my shirts. Like, girl, our, we've lost our mind in some areas. Girl, every shirt I look like a drum major. Like, who's the person in charge of the drum major? Is he the drum major? Like, they look like I'm part of, like, I play drums. Like, what the hell is and going on? For a rump, a bum, bum, chic. I look like I have a, I have like 150 cats at home. Like, are, uh, do you have a job? Are you, do you just knit? Yes. What is your hobby? You, I, we we hang out at the at the home and play bingo. We have a lot of different styles. Do we look like we smell on, like Bengay. I know. I sometimes I want to be sporty. Uh. Sometimes I want to be neutral. Sometimes I want to be vintage crazy. Sometimes I want to be tacky wacky. Yes, we just need more of the things that we have to do, and that unfortunately is more professional and toned down at the moment. And we're not looking for, some of you guys said, don't look for fast fashion. We're not looking for fast fashion. Oh, we're fashion, not looking for fast fashion. But we're not buying it at retail. It, no, it is an upcycle. The fast but... fashion, randomly, like the last trip, was just a few things that we didn't even realize it. We didn't even see the tag. No, we actually That's fell, funny in, part. fell in love with it and looked at it and we're like, oh, it's new, but it's really nice though. And, and that doesn't mm -hmm. happen often. So it reminded me of California. It did. California is full of fast fashion oh, in most of the thrift of stores. I mean. Okay, you guys, we're at Savers, by the way. We have not been here in a while. Oh, it's 50% off day. Yeah, it's a holiday. Today's okay. President's today's, Day. Today's President's Day. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. But today is President's Day. Right. Yeah. Did you guys write a question and thumbs up, please? You oh, guys. Yeah, let's get to the question. Sorry, I right. sidetracked us. And sh shout out to our people in the chat who's been monitoring everything. Nala, girl, thank you Nala. for holding it down. You guys. Keeping everything in, in line. Talking to you guys during the live. So, so Tala. Edwin and I are both Hala, on Hala, there. Hala. And so you may be talking to Edwina, you may be talking to me, you may or be talking both. to both of us at the same time. You'll never know. Um, <laughs> but it's so much fun. Like, we truly love, like, chatting with you guys. So It's our time to um, connect with you. Like, this is our, 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 like, special alone quality time. It's quality time, you guys. We're mm -hmm. spending quality time. I would cheers. You guys, I'm on a mission to have more quality time with Trey. <laughs> Why you say it like that? <laughs> because I'm embarrassed that I work so much oh, that I have to yeah. make time to have quality time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's really sad. Well, you've got to find those times. Like for, for me, it's usually it's Friday. We go to dinner every Friday. Oh. 
oh. um, or spend it with family. And then Saturday uh, morning, we'll make breakfast. And then Saturday night, we go to the movies. We have our thing. And actually, it's really helped. We have certain things like that. But maybe I take advantage of those moments. But I think he just wants more of those moments, maybe. Oh, you know, maybe. we have a couple of those. We eat dinner. We, stuff we like do that. eat dinner every day at 530. We eat breakfast together every morning. Oh, okay. You know. So you... Girl, yeah, but you, you're giving him plenty of quality time. Let's yeah, get to our question. Yeah, but that doesn't involve doing it, girl. That's the problem. Doing oh. it quality time means doing it. Okay, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that either. I was like, uh oh, oh. Uh, hug, well, then, hug, Trey, yeah. hug, then, hug. Well, then I need more quality time. <laughs> this is a completely different conversation now. Right. When you're giving me the definition of quality time. As far time. as their point of view, our point of view, everything you said oh. makes sense. Their point of view is, it's when are we going to get to that? When are we going to get to that? Okay, sorry. I did not know that that was the definition. Sorry, I'm like, <laughs> that just got me uh, hot. Okay. Okay, I found one question okay. uh, from Marisa. Okay. Marissa. Hi, ladies. Twinsy talk was fun. Glad you both were able to relax and enjoy with your friends. That was a lot of fun. Oh, that trip was so good. Oh, my God. I have a few questions. What grades in class were your favorites and why? Oh. Ooh. What grades and class? My favorite grade of all grades was probably sixth grade for me. I had a blast in sixth grade. That was my first freedom, and I acted a fool. <laughs> a what fool. sixth grade did you go to? I went to Booker. Oh, I was girl, a girl. You went to Booker. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not any better than mine. Mine's, mine mean, might be worse. Hood is of the hood. It hood, is, it, hood. Is, it, is it hooder than mine? It was across the street from the Jex, like straight up. Okay, across well, street mine was Jicks. across the street from uh, Clark High School, like okay. Cashman. That's also like it was the by Jicks. it was by the, it was by the theaters. Remember? Oh, the Cynodome. The Cynodome. <laughs> <laughs> we both went to Ghetto Junior Ooh, High. So hood. I can't believe sixth grade was your favorite though. Because this is the time where we had freedom to go through class, and this is when I found out that I was like funny and I was grabbing people in with funny I was like every time we had a substitute teacher I would get sent I would get a referral <laughs> I would get in trouble because that was my oh full comedy oh show God, time oh I've been sitting here too long so I was oh, thinking I'm gone okay but anyway um, I was like, what's going on <laughs> so every time the substitute teacher came in it was like I would take over and destroy the classroom oh, and disrupt yeah we, substitute teachers Did remember you ever have Mr. Eminem that sounds really familiar for some reason. Because yeah, he was a popular substitute teacher that in always Bonanza. brought in a TV. In Bonanza? Everywhere. In junior high. In I Bonanza. love the ones who just played a movie. Like, they didn't even That's do anything. That's what he did. And he always brought candy. And he did, like, stupid stuff. You don't remember? Did you have him? You had to have. He sounds familiar for some you reason. you went to school here, so. Oh, but yeah, I kind oh, of. sixth I'm, grade. I mean, I had. And then I finally learned how to play instruments. And so what was it your was, favorite? Did they did Oh, my say favorite class? Yeah, what's my favorite class? Um, actually, anything with English writing, I love writing. Mm -hmm. I'm, the, I'm the person who can write a 20, oh, 20 page paper. <laughs> like I will like, I, I love writing and that helped me also communicate and speak and stuff like that. But I was a big nerd overall, just to be honest. I was like one of them straight A kids, pretty much graduated early, all that. But writing English, surprisingly, but I love the arts playing a recorder girl i lost oh. it i was like i was gonna be yanni i was gonna take over how about my dad gave me his and it was all wood. the original original it was all wood everybody hated my guts because everybody else's was the kind of ones yours probably sounded <laughs> better and mine was like <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even joking <laughs> Do you, you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. And, everybody, and everybody's like, that's not fair. I got the acoustics and everything. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see if my dad still has it. Oh, my God. But, yeah, sixth grade was my first feeling of freedom, not being in the that's classroom a, you know, all day. That's a really interesting perspective because I have a very different outlook on sixth grade, but I was, I had a rough uh, childhood. Oh, I learned my powers in sixth grade. That's when I was learning. I was learning me. And I was out of control. But I like your outlook because there were some amazing things that happened in sixth grade. Like you said, you learned a language. You learned, I, that's when I started playing the viola. Yes. Yeah. I just got exposed to a lot of things versus being in that same classroom with the same kids yep. all the time. Yeah. I felt like an adult. I felt grown. I just moved to Vegas too. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, you're probably around 12. Yep. That's yep. when I moved to oh, Vegas. Mm -hmm. You like Vegas. I was broken in in sixth grade, you guys, from Chicago to Vegas, age 12. What about you? Uh, I'm guessing high school for you. So it's interesting. So in memory, if I look back and somebody says, what was your favorite grade? I say fifth grade. Because Mr. Buckley was my favorite teacher ever. Fifth grade. I loved okay. him. I had a crush on him. All right. I have a story about that later. Okay. Did I ever tell you that story? 
You didn't you didn't like stay after class, did you? No, but it's uh, let me just tell you the story. Mr. Buckley was my favorite teacher. He was the most good-looking teacher ever, but he was such a great teacher. You wanted to kiss him? I was in love with him. Of course. But um, I did really well. I was also a geek. I was a straight-A student. My hair was down to my butt. Everybody, I was bullied a lot. It was bad. But I was very talented. I did ballet. I, mm -hmm. you know, always mm -hmm. got straight A's. And mm -hmm. Mr. Buckley loved us, me and my friend Crystal. Okay. And he would always, like, give us, you know, awards, whatever. Okay. Fast forward to high school, I was a tutor. Don't ask me why, a math tutor, because English was my strong suit as well. I was not, I did math. Couldn't. Math tutor, okay? So I go to volunteer and I go back to my elementary school mm -hmm. and there's Mr. Buckley. And I'm like, oh my God, Mr. Buckley? How are you? And I'm like 17, okay? And he's like, I'm so good. Oh my God, Shane, it's so nice to see you. you how amazing this is you for you to be. almost legal. So anyways, I'm getting ready to leave. He hands me his card. Business would card? love to meet with you for coffee. Well, of course. He wouldn't know if you was down. He wouldn't know if you was experienced. I never responded to him. I was so taken aback. But did he look the same? Did you feel the same about him or you just recognize him? Did you think he about... He was older, obviously. I but know, but he could have been like a George I Clooney. I guess, how old are you? I was 11. So then in high school, I was 17. He could have been a George Clooney. I guess if you think about it, he could have he could have snapped that back he was for the first time. Looking. He always was good looking. I just thought it was weird. Anyways, that's that story. And then you were offended. <laughs> I wasn't offended, but I was I felt awkward because I was I was only 17. Like, Girl, you you probably would have gave it up to him back in the dork. day. I hadn't even kissed anybody. I barely kissed somebody in junior high school. Like it was you kissed that meat back in the day. And he I, finally was gonna give you and let you see the meat. Anyway. And you were offended. Anyway, so that was grade. my that was my instinct was fifth grade to say that that was great my backstory. By the you way, you like that story? <laughs> um, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Oh, were I would have the, the, took a taste. They were like the worst. They were like the worst. Um, elementary school was horrible. Junior high was like like on another level of horrible. I was Ooh, bullied junior. so bad that it was like I would just go home and pray that like they would just forget who I was. Like, is there a way to get me to another uh, school? Junior high is awful. I, junior high is when I found out that we weren't poor, but we were like low middle class. Yeah. Because all the kids in Vegas lived in those damn mansions. And I know, right? Like, you guys, when we grew up in Vegas, like, Vegas homes are like no other. How about there were kids in high school, better cars than the teachers, the principals? Oh, yeah. And these houses were Well, vast. the high school we went to. Oh, my God. I was supposed to go to Clark. I was supposed to go to Western. Okay, exactly. We used somebody else's address because my mom's like, uh, "Edwin, you're not getting knocked up." Well, my dad Western. Up and moved. Western had the. Mm, well, Clark. They had, had the. the mm. <laughs> yeah, we had that too at Western. But Clark was bad. But the girls was getting like I don't know who was doing well, all the it, girls at Western. But how about junior high? Somebody was. Uh, there were two girls pregnant in my seventh grade girl class. Okay, like girl, I would. I would have lost my virginity in high school if I would have went to Western. It was really bad. I that was in junior high. I was this is how naive I was. I lied to my parents to tell them I was going to a friend's house to sleep. We went to an all night skate night, okay, at the roller rink. All night. All night skate night. I was so excited. I brought my outfits ready to skate all, all night. night. All night skate. No, that's here I am, Edwina. I'm skating all night. They're Where are my friends? They're underneath the table doing things that I had never even heard of. Oh. And I was so mortified. I, I was going to call my mom, but I couldn't because I lied to her. And Everybody then, was making out and getting fingered. Oh my God, don't ever say that again. We're going to have to blur that out. You can't say that. But, but what is that? I didn't even know what that was. And then, and then, you want to hear to top it all off? We were poor as poor can be. For my birthday, somebody got me these leather boots from like Payless. And Payless was the cheap shoes, right. but that's all we could afford. Right, and right. they were the nice leather boots from Payless. Like a BOGO deal? They yes. went for BOGO? <laughs> and they were stolen <laughs> at the skate rink. So I had no shoes. Then, you want to hear to top it all off? You didn't have a boyfriend at that time? To top it all off, Edwina. As it's the late night skate, I can't find my boots. I'm freaking out. I'm like, Crystal, we have to go home. Everybody's like making out. There they're drinking. They're getting. I mean, there was a shooting. They, there was? That was the night of the oh, shooting. Did you go to the one on Rancho? Sure did. Oh, gosh. There was a shooting, and guess what happened? The police came. Where are your parents? Had to call my mom. And that's how they found that you were <laughs> at the all night? <laughs> Anyways. 
So, long story short, oh. sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, not really the most memorable, though that's when I learned um, viola. I will say, I think my, f my favorite memories were probably around 10th grade. 10th grade was my favorite because that's when I had the guts to, um, I wanted to do theater, but I had missed ninth grade. And in theater, you had to go from one, two, three. If you right. missed it, you can't go in. Exactly. So I begged Miss Loman. Please, like I need theater. This is what I need to do. I want to perform. I funny, like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a ballerina. I play the viola. Like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And she's like, well, you can audition, and maybe you can get in. So I auditioned. I did. Uh, what's her name? Anne Frank, like the monologue, crying. Anne Frank. Yes, girl. Oh no. I made everybody cry. She was so impressed. And I remember, like, I. Are you them with the culture? I had such guts back then. Like, where are my guts? Fearless. You are still fearless. Anyways, it's different. So I, she got me in, and guess what happened? So I get in. Guess who's in the class? Who? Jennifer Wickler. Guess oh. who's pissed that I got in? Jennifer Wickler. She's like, what are you doing? You know she's competing. Well, but everybody was pissed because they had to go through the first year of, of theater. Of course, you were special. And they're like, what did you do? Anyway, so I'd say that was probably my favorite. And my favorite class was definitely all the arts. But it's funny you said English. So Mrs. Rife. I loved English, right? I could write all, I, I wanted to write stories all day long and make up stories and then act them. Like I wanted to read it, write it, and then act it. And Mrs. Uh. Rife's class, she also did theater. So we did um, Little Women. And the group I had, we had to write a report and that made us all do the acting. So Jennifer Johnson, remember everybody? Yes, and Lynn, yes. and we did a whole skit of Little Women. I always made everybody do skits. That was my favorite was English, Miss Vernon. You were YouTube before YouTube. Cause I was, did, I have all the- all the old home recording so type stuff. Ask all my friends, like if it was anything to do with anything, I made them be in videos like um, Ju Romeo and Juliet. Remember when I made Lynn? <sighs> And Gina do that. It's funny how we both want to perform. You performing in the arts. Me, I wanted to disrupt class and perform yeah. in class immediately. Anything that came in my head, I had to disrupt the class. Yes, I had to find and nobody to wanted it. to be on my team because they're like, oh, Shane is going to make me do a video. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not even kidding you. Like, so ask Gina or Lonnie. Oh. They're like, oh, Shane is going to make me be in a video. My poor sister, she had to be the Scarlet. She was the daughter of the Scarlet Letter. She's like, my mother uh, slept with another man. And I made her be like the... All the effort. She was too young. Uh, I made her do everything. It was, <laughs> but yeah. So that that's what I remember. Man, you're bringing well, me back. I need to find well, those VHS tapes. But yeah, just uh, I think any chance that we had a, to shine or be in the spotlight, I think that was our funnest. Sign me up. Like. But you know what's funny? I didn't even know about theater and stuff back then. I didn't even know what the hell that I, was. I was like, what's a thespian? What the crap I is that? I didn't know either. And my, I didn't even know what that was. I was always like French, French, French and all the AP right. classes. Right, yes, you know, and yes. All the, uh, well, what, do you, what do you call those? Honor Society and all yes. that bullshit. Well, all that's that how crap. I met you. Remember we went to AP Chemistry. Mm -hmm. And then an orchestra. Mm -hmm. But I was in the arts all the time because I was a dancer. But when I said theater, my dad was upset. Because they feel like it's a wasted credit. Yeah. Like you should do something else. And then he got mad at me. He's like, I can't believe you're going to do that instead of something else. And I'm like, I'm in AP English. I'm in AP chemistry. I mean, I was a straight A student too. Like, yes. like let, leave me alone. I want to, I want to perform. And, but then he was mad. He was taken away from ballet because he's paying a lot of money. And of I course. did Royal Academy. I did exams. Like The last thing he wanted you to do was change your mind. I know. I know. That was the thing. Don't change your mind. I put too much money in you. I know. Right? It's demonetized every single video I have on there. Was. I don't remember this being here. Was this here? It's a little lower. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Um, I was telling you, I mean, I, I still have a YouTube channel. <laughs> and I was re-editing, I was not re-editing, but editing all my fertility videos. And every day I get a new email saying that one of my videos been demonetized. Uh, YouTube ain't no good for making all these new rules and making it retrograde. Why would they make it retro? Videos from like like 2012. Why would they do that? But then but then I looked to see what it was saying. It's music that um freaking that that company gave me. Oh, so the statute of limitations is over? I thought that should have been connected. I thought it would be forever. Like they <sighs> made me sign a deal a long time ago for my YouTube channel studio something. Remember? Anyways, I they oh, just Studio 50, whatever. I don't even remember. Oh, by the way, so sorry for the confusion. Someone says, have I lost it? Because I swear I watched your videos, this video last week. So the video didn't upload correctly. Technical difficulties to the max. And it was re-uploaded, the long extended yes. version. Please so, go back and watch it, you guys. Yes. Um, 
it was great. We did it for, for and with um, Whatnot. And so we put in all the clips from the Whatnot sale and you may have saw just a little bit in the first 20 minute version. The video is like 50 minutes. Yes, so go back if you saw that. Um, what is the ETA for your website? Oh, I answered oh. that there but but okay. um the question and answer uh i'm working on the website you guys we were hacked so i had to shut it down mm -hmm. but um we don't have any launches right now so we've we are once i get it back up and running you'll see it but you'll only be able to purchase um ta brooches and anything from our artisan collection yes but we will we really plan on having another whatnot uh live before sale. the fashion show yeah so stay tuned for the new whatnot sale we'll relieve we'll We'll use that as a way to until the website's ready. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So, um, what else was there? Oh, what are your thoughts on Rihanna's Super Bowl performance? So I didn't watch all of it, but I saw some of it. I thought she was great. I don't know. She's getting a lot of flack, but it's like, listen, I, I'm gonna say something very controversial. It's your time. I'm not a fan of the Rolling Stones. <laughs> So like if the Rolling Stones were playing and everybody's like, oh my God, it's the Rolling Stones. I'd be like, they're good. They're fine. Probably how people felt with Rihanna. Eh, she's good. It's fine. Like, well, I think that the, what they're trying to ask is, what do you think about seeing a, a pregnant person perform? She got pregnant. Probably signed the deal before she even knew she well, was pregnant. Well, of course. She got to get that money. She wasn't going to mess up the bag. She wasn't naked uh, uh, pregnant. But what do you think about that slow wine with that well, tri third trimester slow wine? I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think people are, need, feel the need to feel censored. And I don't think... She's having a baby. And she's an incredible performer who wasn't half naked. And didn't do anything that wasn't who she is like if you go watch any video she's ever done that's that's who she is well the only thing i regret with her being pregnant is i feel like if she wasn't pregnant she would have had like three outfit changes or something you know oh, something totally. like that yeah. she gave us more but the the stage moving and all that was incredible and also being pregnant that's i'd be like the doctor's like uh are you trying to risk your life She's on her second baby. She's cool now. I know, right? She's cool. She's like, whatever. Uh, listen, up in I'm, the air. I'm a That's huge... I got pregnant anyway. I know, right? <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Paris. If you guys know Paris, the choreographer, I'm a huge fan, okay? I follow everything she does on Instagram, on YouTube. Who? Paris, her choreographer. Oh, okay. Like, she's the one who did uh, Yummy, that dance I showed oh. you. Oh, with all those girls yes she's an incredible choreographer her video did better than the actual uh, justin song. bieber i know that right that song was bomb if you that guys don't follow yummy. paris like she's got an, a very unique style and her choreography is just it's weird and great it's just like fashion right like she came out and everybody's making fun of her fashion and it's like but that was her vibe that was what she was inspired by and not to mention it was her fashion which is even more amazing oh, i mean it was dual purpose she promoted right? fenty she's in red everybody's like in white cream it was uh, really and i cool. sent you what's her name i died what's her name i love her she's from hate uh oh jesse Wu. jesse Wu. she goes she goes rihanna i thought i was gonna get a new song she's so pissed and then she goes she goes nope didn't give me a new song you want to know what rihanna did right that's she, it that's all she gave us uh, new makeup new makeup do you see her do that during the performance girl she was working her was fancy hilarious. line she it was, was working it. i mean it was smart no I'll but that's why jesse was pissed she's like she's gonna come out with a new concealer i, I wanted a new song that's gonna sell out at sephora <laughs> great okay also um your skincare routines your faces always look fresh and glowing i need some of that well, oh. we don't look like the box we're supposed to check for our age. We're still checking <laughs> that the the age 30, Alleg allegedly allegedly 30, 30 to thirty seven <laughs> box. We're checking that box. Is, um, that, is that a real box? No, I don't think it is. Thirty to thirty nine box. We're checking that box. We're checking that box. Mm -hmm. um, so when I decide to wash my face at night and I'm not lazy. <laughs> exactly right. Okay, I always um, try to do some kind of prep of makeup remover. Because uh, no matter how you think the makeup's gone, there's always makeup left. So oh, I always totally. do a prep on yeah. the makeup. I use a bunch of Caudalie products. I love them. I'm going to have to graduate to the to the next level, though, I think. You know how they have the next, the age for the age brackets? And I used a couple oh, of samples of, like, yeah. the Golden Girl Serum. Yeah. And it works so, <laughs> <It's> so good. <laughs> but I think I'm going to go to the Premier Crew, which is the most expensive. It's so ridiculous. I mean, it's like... 
why am I even buying this? Why but it's are worth you it. it? <laughs> it's worth it. Coda Lee has been good to me. Um, the whole regimen has changed my life. I will say the Rodan and Fields was the gateway for me to get to Coda Lee. To get a regimen, yeah. Because I would have never understood why these things cost as much as they do because it's like a there's so many steps you need the toner you need the essence you need the serum you need the, the day moisturizer you need the night yeah. moisturizer you need the wrinkle cream you need the eye mask you need the you know there's so many things and they all work really great so for me when I'm not lazy I do that every morning every night <laughs> well, I be no perfect. Be no perfect is what I use the most, but I'm gonna switch to Premier Crew. I, first of all, four. military time for me, it's a wrap for me. Four. four I'm, like, I'm like trying to guess. I spent the last 20 minutes trying to guess what time it is. You sure I shouldn't lift this? It's not too low. It's fine. Right. It's fine. Um, my skincare routine is the complete opposite. Um, yeah, you changed because you you liked a couple products, like you were into so the, the drunk elephant. I'm not really like a product. I I I watch too many dermatologists YouTube channels, which you guys probably, if you guys watch YouTube, you've probably watched them. Rabbit hole. Um, but you know everybody's skin type is different, mm -hmm. and so I will say number one, first and foremost, your skin is either genetic. Or a reflection of what's going on inside your body so all those creams that you're putting on and the serums and the it's enhancing maybe possibly the outside just it's just doing the outside but like I've done way too many experiments because of my IVF journey that I'm on you're not allowed to use a lot of things right so like my acupuncture is like no it's got to be clean nope nope I, I'll bring her products like no nope, this one has perfume this one has fragrance don't use this it's got this thing and what's been really interesting about the whole thing is, is like I've just given up on certain products and I, I'm just like moisturizer sunscreen you see a difference in your face I do you stop? I did and I I don't know and it, it, it my skin also changes on my body your hormones can affect how your your body is reacting the sun how much sun you get yeah. sunscreen that's so, another whole nother thing sensitivity drinking lots of water mm -hmm. vitamins so certain vitamins and supplements I'm taking my multivitamin from For first form sure. you guys multivitamin from first form has like changed my life including uh, the fish oil do you take the fish oil too I have it okay so the fish oil is absolutely amazing and I can I can see it in my nails and my face but like just those basic things I think is a good start and then so good. not to mention like the makeup you're wearing should enhance your your glow so not and create a new human being right so I think as we get older <laughs> and even when I was younger I didn't really wear a lot of makeup but as you get older like um, I've been in love with that Ilia it's like a skin tint and it's got 40 uh, uh, SPF and it's just got a little tint in it and then I just put a little bit of a cream blush and I feel glowy and everybody's like oh my god your skin looks so great it's because I didn't cake on a bunch of makeup well, well first of all you don't need to no Some and I listen see, I get it me I can't even use tinted moisturizer because I feel like it doesn't cover my dark marks that I want to cover well, from, and, back, my, and back to what I said in the beginning I scar easily I touch my face it's a scar so that's a dark mark everybody's skin is so different exactly so, so when I you ask somebody's that. skin routine the first answer should be what's your skin type I have yes I have a combination skin I have dry oily okay just like t-zone it's like pretty neutral dry oily as I've gotten older it's gotten a little more oily which I've actually appreciated because mm -hmm. I've had I used to have really dry skin and you look younger when you're lubed when, when you, you have, have more lube. oil mm -hmm. so I think that helps you have what kind of skin type I say it's, it's combination as well I feel like always when it's my time of the month I get dry that's true yeah and then outside of that I'm oily yeah so, yeah, so it's, it's just the same but different you have sen more sensitive skin my skin is so sensitive and that's my, why the Rodan and feels sensitive treatment was such a great start for me because it was the only thing that got rid of them um, like I had a little rosacea like like redness and that second treatment like got rid of it oh my god we should put um oh Sarah's, Sarah's information I buy it from my best friend Sarah yes we, um we were like well, I was super obsessed and buying a lot at the time, and then for I don't know what happened, but I just changed. I love their mask too. I I use their Redefine mask. They oh my god! Good, and their tools—they have great tools. For I your love skin. the tools. But anyway, check the link be uh, below for Sarah. We'll we'll give Sarah some love. Uh, this is not sponsored. Just show, yeah. sharing some love yeah. in, in our routine. 
but, but overall it's really the key is consistency like Shayna says what you put in your body and not sleeping to where your your pores are clogged when I go to you when know? I don't get any sleep I can see it like I can see it I I, I will say after I had Zevi I was talking to Michelle about this after I had Zevi I noticed I, I had a little line in my forehead I've never had like this is, and I'm, I realize like everybody's skin is different, but I have a tiny little, I mean, it's tiny. Listen, you and I, I like a bird just hit your car. There's birds flying oh like God. crows and stuff everywhere. Um, genetics mm -hmm. plays a lot. My mom was, oh my God, he's right there. He's on top of your head. Oh shoot. <laughs> this freaking roof. Oh my God. He has a crouton in his mouth. Anyways. Where you get the crouton from? Like my aunt, my aunt is 68 years old or 67. She has the best skin. My mom looks better than me. Yeah, my mom was looked amazing. And my mom doesn't even wear makeup. And my mom, my mom had like one um, eyeliner that was so old and crusty. Yeah, that was like her favorite. And her she blush. Yep, yeah, yep. And she'd have this green eyeliner. They just didn't, you know. It was a different time. Yes, different food, different ways of living. And now I don't know what changed. It has to be the food. It has to. It has but to be what, the food. back to what I was saying without the sleep. I feel like I had a baby, and you don't sleep for like a year. I mean, you basically don't. You're up every two hours feeding them, and you're just, you're not sleeping. You don't ever get, like, an eight-hour night. And that was, like, quickly. Like, and how, I could see it. How about stress? Going to sleep stress, stress is, like, the mental baby in your head that That's why when you're on vacation, your sleep. do you ever notice when you're on vacation, you feel a little bloated? Like, like you're almost, like... Like a relief. You finally just see yes. you let your body, like, ugh finally relax yes yeah totally but anyway we gotta stop this twinsy talk because we're we watching go everybody everybody leaving everything. with They're the freaking everything. deals everybody's freaking leaving anyway we're trying to look for stuff for the uh, runway um we personally need clothes i wanted to find um some blankets because i have um a few things i want to make oh yeah special so let's go to the linen section for sure yes and we need a screenshot how, how come what's our screenshot going to be Maybe a little too literal. <laughs> what about like a modeling shot? Oh, what about like um? Why am I doing side profile? That's like the that's the profile I can't stand the most. Oh, this is what I was supposed to do. Put it up a little bit. How about oh, that? Okay. That's all I had to do this whole time. Okay, let's see. Or glamour shots. Like well, we're, I don't want to do the same we're, as you. We're selling realty. We're selling houses. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling yeah. myself. <laughs> we're a hot mess. Thank you guys for joining this Twinsy Talk premiere. We appreciate you. Thank Write you your guys. questions below. You guys, don't forget to subscribe. We're to the road to 60,000. We need your help. Stay tuned because we have videos coming for our project runway. We also have some home decor videos coming in. Hot! Girl, don't even mention it no more. They are so over this, <laughs> this hype be, man It's going to be like reveal. end of March. Okay, I'll, I'll give you the calendar. I already created the date and everything. Oh, that means I have to do it. Now I'm involved. Well, you don't have to show everything. You're just going to show your spots. I know, but then you're going to show like a... a a 14 room tour 14 rooms it's one two three that's three rooms you've got like six different sections of of you gotta you got your house is grass okay like you could just like <laughs> pan your whole <laughs> it's a beautiful earthy it's gorgeous uh, that's what i'm African saying home it's gonna be like um cribs remember we're doing I TA know. cribs that's right that's right that's right all right, maybe I, I'll I gotta, share. Maybe I'll share. I'm gonna have to clean my fridge. It, though. it went from just being Zuki's condo to be now. Well, you a don't full have review. to. I mean, we could do a video with just Zuki's condo. I just thought it'd be fun to also see it your would, stuff. It would. It would. To show that we're about this life. But anyway, we are. We're just not about showing everything all the time. I know, right? <laughs> okay, we gotta go. We hope Guys, you enjoyed this. God. We love connecting with you. We love you. Have a beautiful day. Have we'll beautiful see day. you we'll Friday. See you tomorrow. So you can see what the crap happened at this President's Day sale. It's end of work. We only have like two hours. Uh, hour and a half. We really wanted to film early, but you guys, this is the Are only way. Are you going to keep this on, the thrift? You might as well. All right. And piss everybody off. Yeah, sweat stains in there. It's fine. Whatever. Well, I really didn't bring anything else. This is really my outfit. Okay. I, I, I thought about bringing the hoodie. I forgot the hoodie. I was going to bring our hoodie. It's fine. Let's, let's go. Okay. Bye. Bye.